Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Maserati Levante V8 Ultima. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Maserati of Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this Levante. I'm going to include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And something to quickly mention, the Maserati of Salt Lake did move a little bit, and I'll just quickly show that right now. So this is where the new storefront is prior. It was that building over there with the gray roof. So they're over here now <laughs> for those of you that are wondering. Like I said, link to the website in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a twin turbo 3.8 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 13 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 580 horsepower and then 538 pound feet of torque. Now the lighting in this shot is not necessarily the best, but I love the carbon fiber here on the top. You can see the red there in the engine as well. And this is the last chance to get a V8 in a Maserati. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, of course, you got the Maserati logo there, front and center. And I love this metallic flake that you've got in the paint. It really pops with the Levante. And then you can see the subtle vents there and then popping down below really sharp design with the headlights you can see the fog light down below and then notice how the grill is very open to help feed that v8 got some carbon fiber here at the bottom and putting it all together the levante definitely has its own unique appearance it's very sporty but it also has some elegance to it i'd say now around the side here our time wheel setup is 265 35 22 in the front and then 295 30 22 in the rear and you can see here with the wheels completely blacked out you got the maserati tread in there that's actually in red in the center and then maserati there on the black brake caliper got these little fender flares that are body painted and then v8 ultima there on the side i like the little vents that's pretty cool you can see the rest of the body works all blacked out too and here's your full side profile on the v8 ultima now take a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function we've got the opening for the hatch the remote start function and then we've got the trident there on the back now taking a look at the cargo area with the Levante, it's a pretty decent sized SUV. So you've got quite a bit of storage. We have a cargo cover built in from the factory and that's pretty much it. When you're all done, just press this button and that will lower the hatch right back down. Got the swoopy taillight design here. You can see all the rest of the badging on the back. And I love the exhaust tips here with the V8. And you know, overall it's actually pretty subtle on the exterior. I mean, the Levante just pop, but like this compared to other Levantes, it's not too shouty about what it is, other than the decal on the side, of course. Now take a look at the door panel. You can see really nice leather trim throughout. I like the carbon fiber that goes across. That's really cool as well. Got a little heated seat button here at the bottom. That is interesting. And then speakers here for the Byron's Wilkins sound system. Maserati tried and there on the seat and then you can see preferred it all down the center. Got this cool stitching design that goes across as well. Legroom here in the back is really good. Got a little storage net. We've got some charging ports here. You can see the vents as well. And then headroom, it's sloped, but it's decent. Now take a look at the front door panel again, you can see with the leather trim and then the carbon fiber down below and then, yeah, look at all that, it's really nice. All of our window controls, mirror adjustments, uh, the mirror does power fold in as well. Blind spot monitoring here with the mirrors. And then you can see with the memory seats, more speakers here for the sound system. And then look at this, V8 Ultima there on the headrest. And again, with the really nice trim all down the center. Of course the seat's power adjustable. Pretty fancy looking pedals there. Got stuff like your light control here that's to turn on the engine and then look at this in the dash and that leather trim goes all the way across now taking a look at the steering wheel you can see perforated on either side and i like the leather trim there in the center got practical controls like our voice command controls you got your hill descent control steering assist all of that and then you can see the giant column man mounted paddle shifters here in the back too. Now here's a gauge cluster. You can see that it's analog on either side and I love how you've got the V8 logo there. But yeah, you can scroll through see different bits of information on systems within the car. It's where you also see the drive mode pop in as well to show you what you're in. I like the little clock here at the top. I think that's a cool touch. But we got 360 camera system here with the Levante, pretty good resolution. And that's for the rest of the infotainment system. Quick response time overall 
it does take a second for some of the pages to load up but an easy enough unit to use and I like you have physical buttons below that for the climate and then this is cool with the carbon fiber trim kind of covers up the little charging area and then look at that v8 ultima that's pretty cool shifter here for that eight speed and then we got some physical controls for like drive mode select for example stability control at the top radio controls as well that. got some nice carbon fiber trim here in the center console good storage nice trim on the top with this and then glove box yeah, pretty good nice trim on the outside all over as well and they got our controls here for the panoramic center thing you can see we got a nice premium headliner so here's a window sticker for this levante um, again v8 ultima so this is the end of the line for the v8s but basically it's fully loaded levante with a v8 there's your total msrp 189,970. let's see how it drives Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors. And then the rear. And let's set off in the V8 Ultima, the end of the line for the V8 Maseratis. Uh, if you don't know what's replacing this, it's that really cool uh, Netuno engine. So it's the twin turbo three liter V6 tons of power really cool oh super baja you don't see those every day uh, but yeah tons of power so r.i.p v8 just like every other automaker now with the levante it's what i would call a sport luxury suv so it is a luxury suv in terms of the styling the pricing <laughs> the interior materials and like quality right definitely luxury but it's got an emphasis on sportiness with the driving experience and you feel that like with the suspension it's it's comfortable but it's you can tell it's, it's firmer like this car has got more of a focus on handling for example man that super baja is just enormous it's crazy it's like a real life monster truck real life tonka truck kind of seat comforts uh again these seats also they hold you in place pretty well but they're also pretty firm again that's kind of the name of the game with the levante Ooh, gotta love the sound of this v8 pop into the sport mode super smooth by the way with the transmission and everything the eight speeds just right into gear Salt Lake <laughs> driving. You have some people going fast, some people not. I love how you can hear it kind of, the tires picking up the rocks a little bit because it's got super sticky tires on it. Yeah, really good sound. Really clean sound to pop into the manual mode. I will say that Fin finish on this is very nice. Everything's everything's really tight in here. So I think they've done a really good job with that. Same with the seats too. Just a nice build overall. Okay, so manual mode one. Again, those gear shifts are just so smooth, but quick too. So it makes using the paddles really fun because I don't, I don't know if this Tesla knows what they're doing. Um, but yeah, it makes the paddles really fun to use because they're actually responsive. <laughs> I 
you know, the new Netuno engine is going to be just as quick, if not quicker than this. But just the sound you get out of a V8, it's so fun. It's such a fun experience. So, uh, RIP V8, but let me know what you guys think about the Maserati V8 Ultima.